Hi there, I'm Gemstone Tarot and in this video I want to talk to you about my five favourite astrology books. Now, most of them are pretty skanky and pretty old, but they're all pretty good for their own reasons, okay? I will put the titles of them in the description box. You'll have to go hunt for them if you want to find them. Some of them are out of print, some of them are secondhand, eBay, Arbe Books, whatever. Half the journey with a book is finding it, okay? So I'm just going to put that disclaimer in. These are not kind of books that you can always find readily. Okay, the first, and you know, it's like choosing a favourite child, but I think this probably is my favourite astrology book. The Complete Sun Sign Guide by Bernard Fitzwalter. This was published in 1987. I know. Can I show you as well his publicity photo? <laughs> it's a very 80s photo. Look at that. Now, this book is a relationship star sign book. So, the format is that it will give you some quite in-depth chapters on each star sign first, so you can kind of look yourself up. So it will have, for example, in Aries, um, a bit of blurb about being a sun sign Aries, whether you're an early, middle or a late Aries, three phases of life, child, adult, parent, and then it moves on to the next one. But the very interesting and the most accurate as God knows what about this book is the relationship section. OK, so what it does, it will have your sign and then it will match you with each of the other 12 signs of the Zodiac. And then good old Bernard gives you about three pages on you and that other person. And I have to say, for me, I think I bought this book pretty close to 1987. So I was obviously very young when I did that. And it remains today my absolute go-to for when I'm doing private readings or just in my own life or if a friend comes around and wants relationship advice. It is so incredibly accurate. I don't know how he's done it, okay? So I thoroughly, utterly recommend Bernard Fitzwalter. As far as I can tell, and I'll show you the book in case you want to um, find it for yourself. That's the back cover. There are different covers for this. I did have a cover, uh, a copy that fell apart and I had to order it off eBay. This one, it cost me about two or three pounds quite recently in the UK. What else can I tell you about this book? I think he only wrote, because I went looking for other books, he does like individual star sign books, or he did, so you can buy a whole one for Pisces, say for me but I couldn't find much else that he was doing at the time. It's done by Aquarian Press as well, if you want to know about that. Um, Aquarian Press in the UK, but you know, with search engines these days, if you put Bernard Fitzwalter, the complete sun sign guide in, that is my number one, I have to say. Okay, then, as usual, I've stacked them all on the floor. Now you can tell <laughs> this book is in two halves. <laughs> oh my God. It smells good as well. This, I'm so skanky about books. Right. <laughs> this book, so good it's in two halves, is Linda, this is an old one. You probably all know this one, but it's an old one and it's a good one. This is Linda Goodman, The Sun Signs. And if you have a look, there she is. There's her, I love a dust jacket photo. That's good, look at those cheekbones. Sadly, no longer with us as well, and a fantastic astrologer. I just love Linda Goodman. So this is the sun signs. It's divided fairly equally between the 12 signs. And for me, even though, when was this published? Let's see if I can open it without it falling apart. So this is 1979, first printed in 1968. Oh my God. It's just, it's like a good bottle of wine. It just gets better with time. It really, really does. It's also very good if you're cross-watching or whatever the equivalent is for a book for cross-watching. Um, 
it's quite kind of it's sort of if you were reading up on somebody it's more geared towards reading up on a man I would say but nevertheless it's very very timeless in its information and also the engagement of it is very entertaining even now I don't think that it's dated that much oh my god <laughs> I've got an old photo in there as a bookmark which I am not going to show to you it has for example in the Libra section let's just put that photo to one side in the Libra section you will get wow how to recognize a Libra it's about a, oh Famous Libra personalities, the Libra man, the Libra woman, the Libra child, the Libra boss, the employee. That's it. Okay. And then you'll get a little fable that goes with it, which I quite like. This book, I would say, is probably the first astrology book that me and my friends read together and kind of swapped information on. Um, it is also a classic, a complete classic. And probably quite, I think you could probably still get this on Amazon. I think it's still in print actually, but probably not in two halves like mine. And then she also does a relationship book. This is in slightly better condition, but look. <laughs> oh my God. The worst thing is I actually read it quite often. Look at the spine. Linda Goodman's Love Signs. Another complete classic. So this, similarly to Bernard Fitzwalter, has you and every other star sign combination. Um, if you look here, I can show you that's the Taurus and Libra page. So it will give you the information, Earth fixed negative, air cardinal positive, ruled by Venus, ruled by Venus. It tells you the symbol and it doesn't tell you enough as in to completely turn you off. It's not completely scientific and complicated, but it's kind of academic enough as well that it is not just fluff, you know, because I think um, people are quite misguided in thinking that when you're into astrology, you just want a fluffy read and you don't. You want something that's well researched you want something that's well set out and this definitely is it has all of the love sign combinations but at the beginning of it it has a chapter called the 12 mysteries of love and it has each individual sign and their mysterious it's their dharma their kind of love dharma I'm trying to see here yeah 12 mysteries of love Aries is I am, Taurus is I have, Gemini I think, Cancer I feel, Leo I will, Virgo I analyse, Libra I balance, Scorpio I desire, Sagittarius I see, Capricorn I use, Aquarius I know and Pisces I believe. And then she kind of digs in just for a couple of pages about each one. This is quite a romantic read but not overly so. OK, she uses um, she uses Peter Pan. She's used their little kind of fairy tale references. In fact, it might be Peter Pan all the way through, but only just a few lines, a little quote. It's very, very entertaining, but also, most importantly, it's very accurate. OK. Then we move on. Most of you who watch my daily tarot will know that I am a big, big fan of the mythic tarot. Let's see if there's a good... Oh, there is. Look at that. That actually is the money shot for the mythic tarot, the Empress. This is by Liz Green and Juliet Sharman Burke. It's probably my favourite tarot pack. But what people might not know, although most of you probably do, is that Liz Green is an uber brilliant astrologer as well. And she has written, and this, I had to buy a new copy because um, <laughs> her copy was in my bathroom and it did actually fall apart completely. 
So this is available off Amazon because I think I bought it off Amazon. Um, and this is a reprint. First published 1989. Oh my God. This is making me feel quite old. Astrology for Lovers by Liz Green. This is deep. Bernard Fitzwalter, if you want the meat and potatoes and you want it really accurate, and also if you want it, you know, all the negatives and the positives handed to you on a plate. Linda Goodman, if you're in the bath and you've got a glass of Prosecco or whatever, some, you know, bubbles going and you want a nice, cosy astrology read. Liz Green, if you really, really want something to think about, which will not leave you. Very, very interesting book. So this book doesn't give you you and the other person like those two. It just gives you the individual star sign. So this is good if you're looking up someone else, but also equally as good if you want to learn about yourself. It does have a table of ascendants in it. So you can actually look up, I think, your moon sign. Yeah, and your rising sign. Although these days, I mean, you can just do that on Cafe Astrology as well, which might be easier. Um, she talks about the elements. So the element of fire, the element of water, the element of air, the element of earth. And then she goes into each star sign. And this is in depth. And I don't mean in depth, you know, in gobbledygook uh, astrology that you can't understand. It goes into the shadow side of each sign and it is really deep especially when you read your own okay yeah so let's have a look let's take an example of okay Aquarius let's find Aquarius so the book is ordered in elements Aquarius So first of all, there'll be a general blurb about Aquarius, which is <laughs> quite entertaining, also quite sharp as well. Then there will be the myth. So she will talk about a Greek myth, which represents Aquarius. Again, not in too much depth, but in enough depth that it's interesting. And I know those of you that watch my dailies really like this mythic tarot, so I think this will be a really good read. Then she talks about the shadow. So you've got the myth of your sign, you've got the shadow of the sign, you've got the, the lover, so the Aquarius lover, the Aquarius man, the Aquarius woman. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Believe me, within that, first of all, you will read things that you thought nobody knew about you as your own star sign. You think, oh, that's a bit close to the bone. But more importantly, if you've just met somebody, you will read things about them that give you a good bit of warning about their shadow side. Over 100,000 copies sold of this. I think, I thought not many people knew about it, but clearly 100,000 people do. Um, giving a massive shout out for this one because it really is, I don't know how she manages to be so accessible and so astrologically intelligent at the same time. But she does. And then finally, this is one that I picked up in a bookshop about God, they're all covered in stuff about five years ago. And she has a website. This is exciting. OK, this is can I say her name? Petulngro. I can't, can I? Petulngro. OK, I'm going to show you her name. Claire. P-E-T-U-L-E-N-G-R-O. Love stars. A guide to all your relationships. She has a website, which I will show you because I can't pronounce it. I will also put that in the um, description box. She writes regularly for the Daily Express, the Sunday Express, OK and Company. She's well known for her columns and she's been on This Morning, The Big Breakfast, Richard and Judy. Oh my God, The Gloria Honeyford Show. Ah, and she is the daughter of famous celebrity astrologer Eva Petalengro. Excellent. This was published 
2002. So it's probably the most up-to-date astrology book that I've got. This one again looks at you and different well no it doesn't look at you in different signs but it kind of feels it does it's got a small section on that but it kind of feels like it does so let's have a look at one <laughs> how faithful are you okay that's one chapter oh, omg overcoming the affair and other problems how faithful are you so she that's just a brief like four lines on each sign about how faithful you are i'm not gonna um incite hatred <laughs> by telling you what she says <laughs> i could probably tell you pisces because i am one they hate unfaithfulness in others so don't even think about staying with them if you've strayed when they find out they will make your life a living hell they, on the other hand, <laughs> have often given in to temptation. <laughs> oh, I couldn't possibly comment. Okay, we've got, yes, we do have Between the Sheets. That's a particularly good chapter. Um, we have each one with the other one. So in other words, if you're a Taurus, they have you with every other. Just have you in bed with every other star sign or whichever one you are. So there is one for you and everybody else. That's good. She manages to do that in a very kind of small space as well. This also has a lot of tables for looking up your sun sign, your moon sign. I don't think those are entirely necessary. But again, this woman, she writes really well, probably because she writes for newspapers at the same time. But some of the stuff in here I've used over the years and I have to say it's incredibly accurate. So she does telltale signs that somebody has fallen, how to seduce them, top 10 turn-offs. <laughs> hmm. Let's look at top 10 turn-offs for cancer. Number one is liars. Number two is slovenliness, beer bellies, swearing, people who talk about themselves all the time, people who put themselves before others, people who wear really cheap clothes, people who gargle when they snore, <laughs> um, people who don't talk about things like deep issues and lateness, okay? That's the top 10 turn-offs for a Cancerian. She does also um, star signs in the workplace. She'll do star signs as parents, but each one is just a couple of pages. And again, super, oh, she also does what it's like to be married to one of them. Marriage partners at a glance. Fair, cha fair chance or heavy weather, okay? So this book is entertaining, it's accurate, it's easy to hold in the bath, which for me being a Pisces is incredibly important, but it's actually just really, really good. I'm gonna show you her cover photo as well, because actually hers is quite good. There she is, good haircut. So there you go. Those are my five top astrology books. It hasn't changed much over the last 15 years. It also ages me. I will put them in the description box. Like I say, some of them are in print, some of them are out of print. You can probably somehow, if you're keen enough, get hold of all of them. Please leave me a comment in the comment section about your favourite astrology books. Share with all of us, especially with me, um, what they are, especially if they're a bit unusual, a bit weird, a bit old, a bit smelly, because then we can all go and try and find them. And I love an astrology book hunt, okay? So do also subscribe to my channel. I do daily readings, monthly readings, and pick a card readings. And I'll see you soon. Namaste.